There are quite a few selection tools and methods. You don't need to master all of them when you're just getting started with Photoshop. Let's get familiar with a couple of selection tools you'll probably use often. The Quick Selection Tool and the Lasso Tool. You can give them a try on this image from the practice files for this tutorial or on an image of your own. If you're working on an image with multiple layers, first check the Layers panel to make sure the layer with the content you want to select is highlighted there. Go to the Tools panel and click on the Quick Selection Tool. This tool can detect edges of objects based on color and tone, so it will do a lot of the selecting work for you. Let's say that we want to select the mannequin so that we can apply an adjustment to it. Click, hold, and drag across part of the mannequin, and Photoshop automatically selects at least part of it, stopping where it sees an edge. Don't worry if you don't get the whole mannequin on the first stroke. As soon as you make the first stroke with this tool, the tool sets itself to the Add to Selection option, so you can just continue to click and drag over other areas that you want to add to the selection. If the tool selects too much, like this area of the background, hold down the Option key or the Alt key on Windows and click and drag over that area to remove that part from the selection. As soon as you release your finger from the mouse or the trackpad, the Quick Selection tool goes back to the Add to Selection mode so you can drag over any other areas you want to include in the selection, like this area up here. Alternatively, you could go to the Options bar and click on the plus and minus options there, but it really does make more sense to use the shortcut with this tool. One reason is that you may have to go back and forth a few times, as in this area here where there's not much contrast between the background and the mannequin. So with my finger off the mouse, I'll add to the selection by dragging along this edge, and then I'll hold the Option or Alt key and I'll subtract from the selection. I'll release my finger and I'll add to the selection again. And I might have to subtract one more time. Fortunately, this tool learns as you work, so you may have to give it just a few tries subtracting from and adding to a difficult edge to select it. Another useful tool in a situation like this is the Lasso tool, a selection tool that makes freeform selections. It's located over here in the Tools panel. Go ahead and click on it now. The Lasso tool often comes in handy to manually clean up selections made with another tool. And yes, you can use more than one selection tool to complete a selection. The first thing we need to do is go up to the Options bar for the Lasso tool and switch it from its default to its Add to Selection option. Otherwise, if we were to click with this tool at its default setting, we might lose our entire initial selection. If that does happen to you, just use the Undo or Step Backward commands to try to get your selection back. So I'll click on the Add to Selection option, and then I'll move into the image, and here I see a small area that I didn't manage to get with the Quick Selection tool. I'm going to carefully click and drag along the edge, and then around and back to the beginning to include that area in my selection. You can also subtract from a selection with the Lasso tool. To do that, go back up to the Options bar and click the Subtract from Selection icon. Then I'll move into the image, and here I want to remove this small area, so I'll carefully move along the edge, all the way around, and back to the beginning. So with this selection, I'm going to apply an adjustment. I'll go up to the Image menu, and I'll choose Adjustments and Brightness Contrast, and in the Brightness Contrast dialog box, I'll drag the Brightness slider over to the right to brighten just the area that we'd selected, the mannequin. And I'll click OK to accept that. Finally, go to the Select menu and choose Deselect or use the keyboard shortcut Command plus D on the Mac or Control plus D on Windows. If you want to save a copy of this image without saving over the original, use the Save As command from the File menu, as we've been doing throughout the tutorial series. So that's an introduction to two very useful selection tools, the Lasso tool and the Quick Selection tool.